This is the world's first mass-produced liquid-cooled superphone. Not only does it have dual forms of active cooling, but it also has the largest passive cooling vapor chamber of any smartphone we've ever seen. All for gaming. If you ever lose a round on this beast, you won't. There's no more blaming it on the hardware. And the hardware looks amazing. This is the Red Magic 11 Pro in Silver Sub-Zero. And the blue circle you see on the back is the actual visible liquid from inside the liquid cooler. When the phone is turned on, the blue coolant gets visibly pumped around inside of the phone, distributing heat across the phone's back surface. Being a Red Magic phone, the internal cooling fan also got upgraded to 24,000 RPMs. This tag teams the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 to help keep it cool. Since the cooler you can keep your processor, the higher you can clock it. Alongside Silver Sub-Zero, Red Magic also has a Black Night Freeze variant. I did get two phones just to show it off, but I only need one, and you know what that means. Hit the like button and let me know your favorite game and why down in the comments, and I'll pick a random winner somewhere in the world to give this undamaged Night Freeze to for free. It's hard to say which of the three different cooling systems is doing most of the work. I'm hoping they're all paired together, as in the water loop is using the internal air duct as a radiator, but we'll have to check on that from the inside here in a second. Voluntarily or involuntarily, if you catch my drift. As of now, this Red Magic 11 Pro is the most powerful smartphone on the planet, and it's time to get durability tested. Unfortunately, though, it looks like the world's most powerful smartphone has a screen that scratches at a level 2 with deeper grooves at a level 3.